Cancel culture is real, ladies and gentlemen. Guess what happened to me this morning? I got kicked out of a Facebook poetry group for um, this poem that I wrote, this obscene poem called Dutty Rhymes, and I'll repeat the poem for you now, I think. So this is obviously like based on a sort of gangster rap motif. And um, yeah, it goes like this. So it's Dutty Rhymes. Lay her down and shit on her back. Fucking that ting while I'm smoking crack. Busting a rhyme while going slow, fucking these bitches like this tight hoe. Well, where I am, it's like steam. I'd be licking her ass and her pussy cream. She showed me her ass, she showed me her taint. I don't like the sass and I'm gonna faint. I fuck this hoe, this weird ass bitch. She sucked me slow with a facial twitch. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I posted that on this, um, this Facebook poetry group and they've They've kicked me out of the group and they've blocked me. I thought that was harsh. I thought that was unfair. I think, you know, in poetry, you need to always take into consideration every different artistic perspective. All songs are poetry, of course, so all rap counts as poetry, obviously, as well. And, yeah, I thought that was fucking unfair of them. <laughs> I'm kind of pleased that that's happened this morning because a lot of what I write in terms of my fiction and my poetry, well, I mean, not a lot of it, but I mean, the book I wrote, Sergeant Arson, for a certain demographic, certain people love that sort of thing. I love that sort of thing. I write the sort of books that I want to read. So um, in my novella, Sergeant Arson, it's got all this like revenge porn shit going on. It's got um, Arson, this um, corrupt, big fat corrupt bald police officer, who I fell in love with this, this character and wrote the book about him. Um, he's uh, he gets he's forced to dress up as a dead baby uh, as a baby at one point um, with an electrified cock cage on his genitals and um, goes around howling and screaming like a baby when they electrocute him in his genitals and he's all like twisted on drugs and so on when they're filming this revenge porn of him. But yeah, I thought I'd just talk about this today. Like, it's cancel culture. It's um. It's a fear of the new avant-garde. It's a fear of um, a certain, yeah, form of more obscene writing. And uh, the same thing happened to Thomas Pynchon with Gravity's Rainbow. He was denied the Pulitzer Prize for fiction for his grand, glittering, great novel that um, it, it included obscene shit in it and incredibly funny shit as well because of the obscenity. And because of the, the shock value of the humour. And to some extent, I think all humour is based on shock or at least surprise to some extent. You know, we laugh at that which surprises us very often or shocks us. So, um, yeah, a legitimate form of artistic expression, I think, that's been, that I've been now kicked out of. <laughs> Or like that's gotten me kicked out of a Facebook group. So I take that as a little badge of pride, I'm afraid to say, that I get kicked out of groups for like a little bit of gangster rap, a little bit of a dutty rhyme there. Idiocy, total idiocy. And the rest of the most of the poetry on the group is absolute crap anyway. <laughs> but there we go.